Drew, go ahead. Take it away for our next topic here on House uh, U.S. House Flunks Report Card on church-state issues. Here we go. Yeah, the Secular Coalition for America Today released its 2013 congressional report cards for the U.S. House and Senate. A majority of the members of the U.S. House of Representatives earn failing grades, but a majority of the senators earn a grade of B or above. Members of Congress earn a grade between A and F based on their votes of important pieces of legislation. Representatives were graded based on their support of 14 different bills which related to church-state separation issues and discrimination against non-theistic and secular Americans. Senators were graded based on their support of, for five bills relating to a similar issues. And I think we have some stats for that? Yeah, they're up right now. People are watching okay. them as we speak. Okay, so uh, in the House of Representatives, 8% received an A, 7% received a B, 21% received a C, 2% received a D, and 62% in the House wow. of Representatives, that, that is 271 representatives in the House received an F. In the Senate, 7% received an A, 45% received a B, which isn't that bad, that's 46 people. 5% received a C, nobody got a D, and 43% received an F. That's 44 members of the Senate received hmm. an F in matters of secularism. So overall in Congress, we have 8% received A's, 14% received B's, 18% got a C, 1% got a D, and 58%, that is 315 members out of the 535 in Congress, 58% got an F. Wow, before you move on here to the next images, I want, I want to look at this real quick, and it's pretty funny when you look at the U.S. Senate, and 46 got a B and 44 got an F, but when you look at the House, when you look at the B, say B, or even you could, you could add A and B together, 65 uh, which is uh, 15%, but then when you go on the F-271, I'm like, that's just amazing showing you how the U.S. House is actually uh, flunking here. But uh, yeah, uh, if you got anything else to say, let's move on here. Yeah, in the House, some of the key votes were on issues like uh, FEMA funding for churches, some of the things they were trying to pass. Uh, another bill would have allowed for humanist chaplains in the military. Hmm. Others were like expansions to military religious freedom protection bills and freedom to pray acts and things like that. But I wanted to get to the quote here by Edwina Rogers, who's the executive director of this coalition. She said, quote, in a country where at least one in four Americans does not identify with any religion, these grades underscore the work so many lawmakers still must do in separating their personal religious beliefs from our legislation as a pluralistic nation. The one way to protect everyone's right to religious freedom is to keep all religion out of our secular government. And uh, in conclusion, she said, the fact that we are now seeing at least a few Republicans scoring higher grades indicates that we are certainly moving in the right direction. However, the 315 total F grades shows that there is still a lot of work to be done in encouraging our lawmakers not to support religious privileging in our legislation. Unbelievable. Uh, Drew, yeah. you might as well take it over. And what do you guys say on this, Drew? And we'll get to Paul and TJ. Well, it's, it's extremely backwards, and what I'm thinking is the first country that actually went at and separated religion and government, that it would eventually turn into this. I mean, our Constitution makes this shit so goddamn clear that I get actually really embarrassed for America whenever I hear politicians talk about this stuff. I agree. I mean, it's, it's controversial for a politician just to say that America is secular. I mean, but people being dumb and uninformed is one thing. You expect that. But there has to be a higher standard for the people that actually run the countries. I mean, lawmakers not understanding such a basic concept of our Constitution, like to this degree, is just totally unacceptable. And what do they teach in a history class when it comes to the U.S. Constitution? You know what I mean? <laughs> Another question I, to ponder. I, yeah. I was actually going to ask you, Drew, uh, have you... Did, did you get any numbers on any of the other shit that they have no clue about? Because I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to what their grades are on other basic shit that they're supposed to represent. No, this uh, was just a no, article. This, this one was just about uh, separation maybe, of church and state. Maybe, maybe just for personal fun, I'll go, I'll go look up some grades that they have on other basic shit. Because it seems like if you can be that wrong about something as basic as separation of church and state... That you you sh you're pretty much going to be wrong on a lot of shit. Yeah, you probably yeah. don't understand how how most of this like shit is supposed to work, which is really scary. And and the fact that we have voters that don't understand how it's supposed to work, and that's why they vote in people that don't understand how it's supposed to work either. Spreading the bullshit, man, like it's fact. Agreed. Sorry yeah. to jump in there. Go ahead. That's no, all right, uh, Paul or Drew. Drew, are you done? Yeah. Or anything else? Say? 
No, I was just going to say in closing that out of the 535 members of Congress, 42 members got an A. And I was just going to say, surprise, surprise, not a single one was Republican. Was surprise, surprise, you know. Of course not. That's great. Hey, j- yeah, just, right. just for shits and giggles, wow. I'll let you know that last night I spent the night at my uh, mom and dad's place. Mm-hmm. My mom, they were watching Fox News, and I was like laughing at the whatever show they were watching. And my mom called me a liberal as if it was an insult. Like, an ins- like it was an insult. Was like just- it was an insult, for real. My own mother, was she was like, she's just a liberal. I was like... Uh, and you're a conservative. Are you offended at that? <laughs> Great. Uh, Paul, what do you got on this? Yeah, sorry. I didn't, I didn't mute my mic there. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't like uh, the fact that while, that uh, we have lawmakers who are so inept with the church and state separation. I, I the, the fact that most of them are keep spouting it's a Christian nation or even that, or they, they push laws, legislation, rules. I mean, the abortion bill in Texas and other states, would there even be any of them if, there, if they didn't have these people in charge? And personally, what I feel is since they are, I mean, their, their oath is to uphold the Constitution. When they do stupid crap like this, pushing sectarian um, policy on the public, I really think that they should be voted out or at least they have some type of reprimand. I mean, yeah, reprimand. They're violating their oath. Absolutely, they are. Yeah. Uh, what I want to get into here real quick, guys, is, is a video clip that would give you an example of uh, what's happening. You know, this story. I'm like, right now I'm going to mention, I'm going to play a clip for you guys. It's actually a clip um, in the news. This is a, a new topic. It's, this just uh, came out like three days ago in the major media outlets. It's Michigan mayor uh, bans Atheist City Hall display to not upset Christians. And this is exactly what we're talking about when it comes to this issue. This is a prime example. Even though this guy's the mayor of i believe it's warren michigan he's violating he's not upholding the u.s constitution he's violating his oath and let's listen to this little clip here and it's just amazing it sickens me that there's a mayor out there that just basically hates atheists and thinks we're denigrating we're 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 criticizing unfairly when it comes to religion so let's listen to this what this guy has to say real quick May 1st is also the National Day of Prayer, and now Warren Mayor Jim Fouts is telling Marshall no, sending Marshall this letter. The two have a long history of fighting in court over religious displays, and Fouts says freedom of religion allows any religious group to set up here. I will continue to support all groups, regardless of race or religion, but I will not support a group which denigrates those groups. But Marshall says the mayor, a former civics teacher, is missing the rest of the First Amendment. The mayor is re- restricting my freedom of speech. He is allowing uh, religious speech, but not non-religious speech. I emphasize one thing. The government cannot restrict an individual's freedom of speech, but an individual cannot restrict government's freedom of speech. Hey, like that. <laughs> How amazing is that right there, man? Government for what speech? a complete what? fucking moron. <laughs> so this is a private prime example example of what we're talking where, about where, here. Where is he a mayor? Uh Warren, Michigan, and he's Mayor Jim Fouts. And yeah. What an absolute idiot. Who are you kidding me? Saying no. that the government can't restrict an individual's freedom of speech. But the go- but the individual can't restrict the government's freedom of speech and yeah. it's apparently the yeah. government their freedom of speech is to back religious shit and not you you realize how he's like i've got no problem with any religious thing but apparently if it's not religious here, here's the entire point you want to display your religious shit and if you have no problem with any religion displaying their shit then you should have no problem with any lack of religion displaying <laughs> their opinions as well exactly the, the idea that you can sit there and and okay one and poo poo another goes <laughs> entirely against the fucking idea of the United States hey, of America. Yeah, the establishment clause, people yeah, first moment, yeah. People have forgotten. Yeah. They 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 were all convinced that that uh, all the founding fathers were super Christian, and they not only were they Christian, but they believed the same craziness that I did. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's it's embarrassing, and and it's right. not only 
embarrassing, but it's detrimental to our entire it, fucking it, society. It's detrimental they would love to our nothing youth, so. more than to turn America into the Christian version of Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Theocracy, yeah. they want. Yeah. Of course, they do. Uh, and it's, it's pretty ridiculous. funny. It's pretty funny that this mayor, he's only using his own own personal opinion and his personal. It's bias. He's biased, of course, on his situation. He made an oath to office, and he should respect his oath. They and not violate it, you know. And and to be fair to the, his citizens. You know, in Warren County, you know, to treat them as equals, to uphold the U.S. Constitution. He failed. This is fact. And I hope he gets sued, which I believe the FFRF is uh, following suit against this uh, mayor. And I've, hopefully and they will win. They will sure. win, especially with that comment. Yeah. So I, I'm pretty that. sure that when he says that an individual can't restrict government speech, he considers himself government because mm -hmm. he's a mayor. Exactly. And, he, and he's saying that, like. While I can't tell you what to say and what not to say, you're not allowed to tell me what to do and what not to do, even though I'm supposed to fucking represent you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Exact Monday.